don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the third figure of the Siege line that I have, uh, the third deluxe that I have looked at uh, or purchased. This is uh, Autobot Hound, and this is WFCS9, and I'm getting that from right here if anybody cares to know it. Okay, uh, front of the box looks like this. You've got your picture of Hound, you've got two little weapons right there, um, side of the box, back of the box, top, bottom, side. One thing I will say about this Siege line, something that I have noticed, is that there's a lot of package waste in here. Um, they really could have packaged this thing different and saved some money. This thing was 20 bucks. Alright, well... What do you say we get into it and see what we got in here? So, getting into this right here, uh, we have the instructions if anybody needs them. Uh, they're in red and gray. I don't know if that's just a, a standard thing they're going to do for the Autobots or what, but yeah. Okay, and you can see what it's got options for the weapons. Here are the weapons. As you can see, they are uh, interesting. This is... I can't tell if it's glued together or not, but it's got some interesting line work to it. It's hollow as all get out, but you get your shoulder launcher here that again has some paint on it. Kind of surprising. And we get uh, this single piece thing right here. I'm not sure, but it's got paint on it, so you know, that's that is something. Now let's see here. They say that you take the gun here and you take this and you plug this into here like this then you take this and you plug this into here like this and apparently you've got a super mega gun thing okay um... yeah okay and apparently you can do that like that if you wanted to or whatever the hell you want to do here um, look at it, this thing it kinda looks like it's supposed to plug in here somewhere like maybe right there I don't know I am not the expert on this stuff maybe it goes on this side hmm yeah that, that's okay I guess I guess that works yeah all right maybe <laughs> okay enough about the weapons other than Kenny hold them that wasn't very good Let's see here. Uh, get in there. Ow! That was a tight fit. Rocket launcher should go right here. Hmm. That is not a happy thing. And the rocket launcher is supposed to go right here. Come on now, don't be that way. Uh... Hmm, that's not going to fit in on either side. And you would think it would, based on the way it looks. But you've got the backpack here that gets in the way. If we can't put the rocket launcher in there, I'm going to be pissed. There's just... There we go, okay. So, yeah, I was able to get it in there, but man, it fought me the whole time. And then we got this thing right here, which, uh, I don't know. I guess it goes on the side here somewhere. 
some way. Alright, so yeah, apparently he can hold his weapon. Why don't we get the box here out of the way and zoom in to take a look at the figure. You can see, whoa, a little bit too much. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Maybe. Okay. You can see right off the bat, uh, he's got some really nice blue eyes. Uh, picked out with that black around, so that looks nice. We've got, eh, I guess it's an okay faceplate. We've got a little star right there, and an Autobot symbol right there, which... I don't think that's a sticker. I think that's... I think that's Tampograph. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have stars on the shoulders. Uh, coming down the figure, we've got headlights are painted white. Uh, the running lights are painted white. These lights are painted yellow. We needed a little bit of silver right there, just so that we could have that picked out but other than that there's a little something behind it yeah let's see here how about articulation while I'm here the head I, I gotta get this thing off maybe okay so the head feels like it's on a ball joint but there's a flap right back here that's preventing it from moving very much the shoulders here, as you can see, are, uh, well, they've got this, this star right here. They're on some type of hinge right here, as you can see. They'll go all the way around, go out to right there, so he can definitely go, wee. Okay, elbow gives you slightly over 90 degrees. The wrists rotate all the way around, there's no in and out, and they're permanently fixed in that 5mm port thing. Does he have a waist swivel? He does, and it's a proper waist swivel at the waist. So, yeah, you can go all the way around with it. Those aren't T-jointed ball joints, I think those are universals. But still, they let him do the full splits, the full Chinese and he can go forward and back with his backpack moving out of the way to give him full uh, American splits as well. So that's something. Thigh swivel was built into this mushroom peg that you can see right here. So it's built around the joint, it works just fine. We get well over a full range on the leg, so there's always that. We have, uh, this is black plastic, this is gray plastic. You get a little bit of that weathering thing they talk about. You get more of that weathering through here. A little bit of copper color right here. The wheels are plastic, but they roll quite freely, apparently. Uh, let's see here. You have as much ankle tilt as, or rocker as you want. I just popped that out, didn't I? Uh, it doesn't go forward and back, though. Well, it looks like... Looks like it should. It'll go forward a tinch, but it's not really wanting to. Okay, I think that covers his articulation. I suppose the next thing we need to do now is some type of scale comparison with him in this mode. Hope nobody fusses at me over the side swipe thing. What the hell are you doing? What do you mean? I'm doing the same thing I do all the time. I, I'm reviewing figures. Besides, what are you complaining about? You've got guns and stuff now. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. But I still want that one right there. That one on that side swipe you made. Uh, I keep trying to tell you, Nemesis, that's, that's not going to work for you. You don't have the port you need to be able to put that on there. Did you quit showing me off? Uh, Aren't you supposed to enjoy being shown off? I do, but only on my own terms, not yours. Uh, Nemesis, everything that you have, everything that you do, I hate to tell you it's because of me. So you're saying I'm just a puppet? 
Uh, actually, I think you're more like a mascot than a puppet, but uh, yeah, let's call you a puppet. If I'm really a puppet, how do I get to pee in your Cheerios? Uh, that is a discussion for another time uh, when we are not on the camera. At least I have guns. Yes, I gave them to you, and you're taking away from the figure here. I go. I know you go, but you'll be back. Only because I have a contract. No, because I have fingers and you are my mascot and you do what I tell you. Damn it. I got nothing to go, to go against that. Yeah, I know. That's because I... We, we all realize that you're me. What? I'm not you. I hate you. Not as much as Optimus, but I would shoot you if I could. Get off the screen, Nemesis. Ah! I'm sorry you all had to see that. I just wanted to show you what these guys looked like. So, you know, Nemesis occasionally pops in and creates havoc. That's my job. Get out of here. So, I, I guess we've looked at everything, and the next thing to do would be to transform him. Before I transform him, it occurred to me there were a couple of things I had not done, one of which is measure him to see how tall he is. Uh, coming up to the head, mm, I'd say he's maybe five and a half inches as I'm looking at him. Shoulder to shoulder, we're looking at about three depth-wise. Actually, this part's going to be the biggest. I'd say that's close to two inches. And there was one other thing I need to do, and that is put him next to my hound. And this is the Fans Toys Willis, I believe is what he's called. And I just wanted to look to see how these guys compare. Because I did that with the Sideswipe, and... Hmm... Well, if I'm looking, if this is representative, then... Hmm, this should be silver, and there should be a missile sticking out of this thing. And I don't have any missiles. Um, hmm, you know how that bothered me on the side swipe until I had to fix it. I don't have a missile to fix it with this time, so I may have to find something to... Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's just see if this will actually... Holy crap. I think the... Ah! Man, that paint added an extra layer of... There we go. All right. I could kind of live with that. I'd have to get another one and paint it silver, but yeah, I could probably do that. So I guess I'll be on the lookout for a silver or a... Um, um, I'll be on the lookout for another sideswipe weapon so that I can fix that. Or something else that has a, a missile so I can put in there. But aside from that, yeah. Alright, so we've seen the comparison. We've seen how this works. What do you say we transform this guy? First thing we need to do is pop off that and pull the weapon out of his hand. Okay. Now, um, let me see if I can remember how to do this. This wasn't as intuitive as I had hoped. Let me put it like that. First thing we do is we push the foot down and pull this out. Push the foot down and pull this out. We'll need this here in a little bit. And I will say it's either this one or this one keeps popping off the joint right here. So you may have a similar instance, just be mindful. Take your backpack and extend it like this. Take your front here and it will rotate upward. Which the first time I did it, it was extremely tight and I felt like I was going to break it but you won't. It pins in, I'm not sure exactly where, but yeah, you just lift that up and that covers over his head. His, his head does not duck in the way that we're used to, it does this way. So then you take your arms, pull them that way, rotate them around, and push this down. Take your arm, push it in, and I'm doing it this way because there's a lot of torque you can put on this hinge and you don't want to break it. Leave your I'm jumping ahead of myself here. Leave your arms up like that so you have room to take your leg here and flip it all the way around and you've got to move it around this piece right here. This will pin in right here, he says. Get in there. 
like that, securing that in place. And then you take your foot here, bend it over, take your arm, and there is a pin right here. I hope you all can see. Turn your arm. There is a port somewhere right here. There's a port right there that will take that pin. You just bend it down, and that locks that arm into place like that, and that kind of secures the whole thing. So we'll do that again. We will bend this up and over, being sure to clear this. And you got to kind of flex it a little bit to get it around, but the plastic's kind of soft, so it, it it's not as scary feeling as you would think. Okay, move that forward. That's going to pin in right there, he says, like that. This bends over like that. Find your... Uh, proper place here on your arm. It's going to be right there. You can see the port much better right there. Rotate your arm, tuck it in, and pin it in place. And here is Hound in his vehicle mode. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you can take your gas cap thing here and plug it in right there. It'll set right there. And then it's just a matter of finding where you want to put your weapons in these ports. There you go. Uh, he's got port, port, uh, those three, port, port, and two more. Yeah. yeah. He's measuring in at, uh, let's say four and a, it, without the gas cap, four, and with the gas cap, let's say four and a quarter. Height-wise, I can't count the weapons because those are kind of optional. Uh, I'd say right close to two inches. Width-wise, we're looking at two and a quarter. Okay. It rolls, it's not the smoothest thing ever was, but all these wheels are operating well enough. It may just be, we can, we can call this user error here. In this mode, you can see uh, the Jeep details come through very well. He's got translucent windshield, uh, it, at least on, it is translucent plastic, but it's on that, that softer plastic so it, it doesn't really look through. Uh, your wheels are green with black. You got some more of that copper, copper, and they've they made it look like he's got seats. So uh, yeah spike's not gonna do too well in there. What about a uh, headmaster here? Let's get these things off. Will they fit in there? Uh, not very well. The headmasters aren't going to fit in there very well either. Which I'm really surprised by that. I I don't understand why they didn't make this line to where you could use your headmaster still. Or your Titan return things. Whatever. Uh, we've got the yellow coming through right here. The silver, or the white. That's actually white. Okay. Yellow headlights, which is sloppy paint. But it is paint back looks like this so yeah I guess the only thing to do now is scale comparison final thoughts wise this is a $20 deluxe figure and honestly, I think it pulls it off. It's not the greatest figure I've ever had. It is most definitively a mass-produced Hasbro Transformer uh, for, the, for the collector. And by that, I mean it's not a Takara to Tomy, you know, $40, $50 imported Transformer. It is mainline. It has its benefits. Uh, the articulation is there. As you can obviously see, I can get him in a dynamic pose. Additionally, I was able to move the back flap and get his head to turn, so that was something. It is missing that signature missile coming out right here, so at some point I'm probably going to do something about that, which is unfortunate because I had hoped it would come out of the box the way that I wanted it, but having dealt with the... Uh, the corrections that were on the side swipe, I kind of get it. We have more paint 
than what we're used to in Combiner Wars or Titans Returns or whatever. We have decent articulation. It works. Uh, the weapons are what they should be other than it missing the missile. The paint is good, except in certain areas. The scale, people would argue the scale, I would say it, it's okay, it, it's fine. Yeah, if you're looking for a hound, then yes, I would say this is a good representation. Hound was the first G1 Transformer I ever owned, so... Yeah, I mean, I got that back in 87 or whatever, 84 whenever, when I was a kid. But this kind of clicks some of those nostalgia boxes. Not all of them, but I think it's okay. And I actually think it's probably worth the money. So, thanks from Nemesis and I. This is Tom, and I will see you at the next review. And thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Another satisfied customer of Vitamin John. Operators are standing by. Call now!